Anyway, good morning. My name is Caleb Clark. I'm an instructor for Wise Ant, and I have been teaching Revit for quite some time. And this morning, the question was, is how can we create a 3D model in Revit? All right, very simple. You open up your Revit session. Once you've opened it up, I have 2020 um, opened up on my computer. You simply just go ahead and click New. You pick the type of template that you want to work from. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and pick an architectural template and choose Product and hit OK. And it's going to load up a template file for me that has a lot of the Revit architecture uh, things put in there for me. So like ceiling plans, elevations, and some of the families relate to it and the floor plans. Now, my background is showing up black because the setting I have yours probably will not say that. So I'll go ahead and put that to the default that you're used to seeing. There we are. OK, so it defaults to your level one. Now, if I want to look at the 3D view, I would come up here to view tab and click on the little house here. And the little house here shows us that we absolutely have nothing here. So then what we might do at this point is go ahead and click on uh, something that we might want to draw in 3D. So that means we might draw walls, we might draw uh, ceilings, we might draw floors, roofs, things like that. So the way you can do that is you can go here to a floor plan and go to walls, architectural, and pick the types of uh, wall that you're interested in, whether it would be a CMU wall or something insulated or a generic wall that might just, uh, or an in, in interior wall, maybe even curtain wall. So in this case, um, a generic eight inch wall is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna say that it's gonna be on level one and I'm gonna give it a top connected uh, at level two, so it goes from level one up to two, okay? As soon as I move out of this little pane here, it will do the same thing as clicking apply. I'm gonna go ahead and just draw myself a square shape. I'm not gonna worry about the dimensions too much. I just simply want to demonstrate that once you draw that in this space here, we can now click in the 3D view so we can see these here side that we have made a three uh, dimensional wall and give us a little more detail and uh, realistic look to it, okay? Uh, we can even add in some shadows here if we wanted to. There's a view cube over here, and we can do a little bit of uh, spinning around by holding down the shift key in the middle roller on our mouse, and just click, and we can spin it around a little bit. Now, if you want to add a little bit more stuff to it, say a door or something like that, you can click there in 3D if you like. Um, you can add some windows if you like as well. Um, there's con some controls to uh, pick out uh, different sizes of doors that you might want. If you cannot find the size door you want, you can always load in more. Um, this windows have the same type of attributes where they have other window families. So if I click over here, I can quickly swap out which one I'm actually using there. Okay, and then this window may uh, be uh, backwards, so you can come back into plan, and you can see here the little flip indicators. I can hit those, and now it's going in the right direction. And the door's got a couple of those, too, so if I needed it in the house, it would be actually opening inward. And I could flip that door swing which way I'd like. Okay, so I hope this helps. Um, let me know if you have any questions.